and welcome back to the channel on this video as we ride around on a hot day here I'm gonna call it hot because 95 degrees is kind of hot and uh, we got uh, we've got an even hotter day tomorrow they're saying 102 so I guess summer is not over yet. We're under an excessive heat warning right now, but that's not what I want to talk about in this video. On this video, I want to talk about cameras and specifically the GoPro 10, GoPro Hero 10 Black is the one I want to talk about. So I own three cameras. I started out with I believe it was the Acaso. I'm trying to remember the model. I still have the camera, but I, it's put away somewhere. And I think it was the Acaso Brave 4. So I started out with that camera. Terrible camera. So if you look back to my first few weeks on YouTube, July 4th is when I started the channel, 2022. And if you look back at the videos back then, For the first few weeks or so you'll see how bad the videos were so I would play them back and they were very unstable uh, hardly watchable and so I thought if I can't watch these nobody's gonna want to watch these are they're, they're not good you know so I thought well you know, I didn't know a lot about cameras back then, so um, I thought, well, what can I get that's good? Now, that camera, mind you, was only $129, I think, when I bought it. So I, I went on the cheap, and if you go on the cheap, you're going to get, get uh, basically cheap. And so I looked around to see what's out there, what other people are using, and what's, you know, what's a good camera to use. And the one I uh, went to use, I want to make sure this guy's going to go. The one I decided to get seemed like the most popular one for what I'm trying to do on YouTube. Shoot uh, videos, action videos if you want to call it that, riding bikes. Uh, the GoPro 10, at the time that was the newest GoPro camera they had. So I thought, I'm going to go with that camera. And so I did. And for the past couple of years, that's been my camera. But then about a month ago, or a little over a month ago, just slightly over a month ago, maybe five weeks ago, I bought a new camera. And there was nothing wrong at the time with the GoPro. And bear with me on this story. I'll get to... The GoPro in a moment here but so I just wanted to change it up and try something new and I thought these Insta 360s look really cool from what I saw of them shooting in 360 you know just give a different perspective you know on riding and something different for the channel and I knew I wasn't going to record all the time in 360 and I haven't I've done some video in 360 but I haven't done a lot and I'll get back to the reason why I don't do a lot of 360 videos um, but anyway so I bought a new camera and so I still had the GoPro and I like using the GoPro too especially for the uh, shots of uh, chest mount uh, with the chest mount I like the uh, shot from here this is the most popular that people like because I've asked before about what do you like for views this is the, the best view. People want to see the dash here. They want to see your display and how fast you're going. And just the controls and everything here. And straight ahead. Which is good. That's what I like to see too. If I'm watching somebody's video, that's my preference. To see this very same thing here. And so anyway, so then... Maybe it's been a bit more than a month since I got the Insta360, but not much more. Six weeks. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So, I did a group ride 
about a month ago. Uh, we went on the Fennel Creek Trail. And some of you may have seen that video. And so I recorded on that video. I recorded with both. I had the Insta360 and I had the uh, the selfie stick here, as you see the uh, some of the attachments right here. But the selfie stick and had the GoPro or the uh, Insta360 X4 new camera on there. And then I had the chest mount and had the GoPro where the Insta360 is right now. That's the camera I'm shooting in at the moment. This video is being shot in 4K, single lens, 4K, 60 frames per second. But anyway, so getting back to the story, so I recorded with both. Then when we got to our destination on this group ride, and everybody was going to break up and go their, their own way, I, because I was getting down in battery, I forget what percent I was at. I, I had recorded for, it wasn't even an hour. It was a little under an hour, I think. Um, but let's say an hour. The temperature was not hot out. It was warm in the 70s, but it wasn't hot. And I went to pull the, ca the uh, battery out of the camera. I wanted to change batteries. I brought, I have three batteries for the GoPro. So I brought the two extra spares, not knowing how much I'm, I'm going to want to use. I thought two batteries is probably going to be enough, but so I did. I brought two uh, fully charged plus the one that was in the camera that was fully charged. And, and I went to swap out the battery. And if you're familiar with the camera, the GoPro, it has on the battery, there's a little tab. So there's a blue tab, there's a blue, kind of like a blue cover on the ends of the battery. And there's a blue tab there that you pull to get the battery out, which is Mickey Mouse to me. I think that's an awful, um, way to uh, have this set up but anyway that's the way they have it and I went to pull it out and the whole thing came off the whole cover came off and so not much I could do there in the middle of this so I just shut down the GoPro because can't get the battery out and uh, so I did some more recording on the way home from that where we uh, ended there using just the Insta360. Then when I got home, um, I tried getting the battery out, couldn't get it out. Then my friend Keith, who you're familiar with, he's been on the channel several times, he monkeyed with the camera and the battery and got it out. And so uh, I just threw the battery away because the battery had swelled inside the camera. And so, Um, so I couldn't use it anymore. The battery, once they swell, that's it, right? And so I threw the battery away. I have two more, so that's fine. So then, I don't know how much longer after that I, um, I hope this story isn't boring you, but uh, I put in the other, I put in another battery actually immediately and proceeded to uh, take the uh, video off of that camera put it into my computer. I use a desktop computer to um, edit the videos and stuff. And so I did that. And then, uh, I don't know how long later, a few days or a week later, I wanted to shoot a video with that camera again. And I did, I went out and shot a video. And I came home, went to edit the video. There was no sound. And then, so I went through the video, was going through watching it, you know, listening, there was completely dead, no sound at all. Then there would be sound for about 10 seconds, then it would go off again for a long stretch. Then it would come back for a few seconds, then go off again. And so that's where it's at with that camera. I haven't tried any more with it. And now I went recently to pull that battery out and I can't get that one out either. And I haven't even used the camera, uh, only that one more time when I found that the sound was gone, and I thought, well, back with that, I'm just not gonna bother using it right now. So I just wanted to get that out there for people that use the GoPro Hero 10, um, about be careful with issues with that. And I don't know why all of a sudden now it's doing that, because I've used that 
com camera for the past two years. Why all of a sudden now am I having these issues? And I think it's a terrible idea of having that tab on the battery. I like the Insta360 here has a great battery. It's first of all, the battery on this Insta360 X4 is twice as wide as the uh, GoPro battery. So it's two of those, it's like two of those together. And it has two little, kind of like these little hinges or whatever you want to call it. And you just push them in and the battery pops out. And I wish they had the GoPro batteries kind of like they have the memory where you just give it a little push in and then the, the memory card pops out. Why can't they do something like that for the battery? Because that tab is terrible, a terrible idea. I don't like it. And uh, I did buy a second uh, Insta360 uh, X4 uh, battery uh, a while ago too and only paid 40 bucks for it. So a good, great deal for that. But anyway, so I just wanted to tell people about that and what I was going to do a video. It's funny after that happened on that subject and then I just didn't bother. I got doing other things and never got back to it. But I still had in my mind I want to do a video to let people know about this. And in the meantime, just recently here, if you're familiar with somebody who has a YouTube channel who I watch his videos all the time, uh, his name is Russ's Right. That's his YouTube name, his channel. Uh, he did a video and had the same thing happen to him with the tab with the whole cover coming off. I guess he put his back on and was able to use it again and had, had no more issues, but I didn't have that luck. Um, and so anyway, um, so that's my uh, issues now with the GoPro Hero 10. I really like that camera, but... And then I want to say one more thing about the camera too. So when I first bought it, I did read some stuff on there about the camera getting hot, overheating, which is true. That camera overheats. GoPro uh, cameras overheat. And I don't know yet if the Insta360 uh, X4 is that way or not. I haven't had any issues yet, knock on wood, but I don't know. But the, so I did not long too. I hope, uh, like I say, this story isn't boring you, but I want to keep going with it. I'm wound up about it now. Um, so I did a video after I bought the, Go, uh, the uh, GoPro uh, camera, the 10. A little bit after I bought it, I, I did a video. It's just a walking video in my area where I live. And I walked around because I wanted to see what happens. And I put the video up here on YouTube. I could leave a link and let you guys watch it. And at the time, I can't remember what the temperature outside was, but it was in the 70s or near 80 degrees. And I think I just, if I remember right, I was either just holding the camera or I had it on a selfie stick. I think I had it on a selfie stick, but I didn't, uh, um, I wasn't on a bike, I was walking, like I said. And so it was sunny out that day and pretty warm. So anyway, Uh, so I did the walk around because I wanted to see how long does it take before that thing will get hot and shut off on me. So I did. I, I kept going until it went off. 21 minutes, approximately. I think the video is like 23 minutes, but the camera actually was, I'm saying about 21 minutes. Say. And that's recording in 4K, uh, 60 frames per second. So what I did after that, when I found out that happens, I just decided to do most of the videos unless it was cooler outside and i did a quick video uh, if you're doing very long at all like 20 minutes or more i did them in uh, 1080 from then on pretty much in uh, 30 frames per second um, and people never really seemed to mind i never had any complaints about the quality but anyway yeah that camera gets hot especially if you run it at a higher uh, um, frames per second and also the higher uh, quality of 4K. Anyway, now I want to talk quickly about the Insta360 and I've had uh, that camera, like I say, probably six weeks and I did very few for uh, 360 videos. And the reason why I do very few 360 videos, this is what I wanted to get at with that camera. I love the camera, by the way. It's an awesome camera. It's the one that's filming right now. Um, but the one thing that drove, drove and drives me still crazy is the editing time, exporting and editing. 
Not so much the editing actually as the exporting. It takes hours. And I don't know why that is. Even for 15 minutes of video or 20 minutes, it takes seven or eight hours to extract the video. And it's, I thought it was my computer, but it's not the computer because if I use the same video, as long as it's not 360, in the Insta, you know, you have to use the Insta 360 uh, software to use to get the 360 uh, video because there's no I don't have any other software that can do 360 editing so I have to use that particular software and uh, speed up so the guy behind me doesn't get annoyed but when I do I've done experiments in 4k uh, 60 frames per second and if I do I can use my other software and it only takes minutes uh, you know, much faster than the uh, Insta360 uh, software. So that's why you're not seeing a lot of Insta360 uh, videos done in 360 uh, on my uh, channel because I'm finding it takes far too long. But once in a while, you will see some done. I just I got to just make sure I have the time to do all that because I'm stick handling, uh, you know, a job, 40 hour job and plus trying to do this channel so it gets a little time consuming but um, so that's I just wanted to get all that out there I hope that didn't uh, I hope that didn't uh, bore you or anything but I wanted to get that story out there I love this camera this Insta 360 is nice uh, like most cameras though it's not darkness friendly it doesn't like dark uh, for filming I'm noticing but it does love today the sunshine it loves that cloudy yeah it's it, it doesn't mind the cloud but I think this camera is meant for sunshine it loves the nice bright sunny day that's where it really shines so that's where I'm at so I'm no longer using as of right now anyway the uh, GoPro, but I still can use the GoPro if I want to do a video with no sound. I can add sound to it, I suppose, later. But um, maybe let me know in the comments below if you've had issues similar to that with the GoPro Hero 10 yourself or 11 or 12. I don't know, at the time I bought this Insta360, I thought, well, let's see what else is out there. It's time to make a change, maybe, and I'm hearing really good things about the Insta360. And the nice thing about this camera is you can do one lens, single lens or dual lens. So if I don't want to shoot 360, like right now, I can do single lens and just use it just the same as I would the GoPro 10. All right, after all that, I think we're done. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for supporting us. Just hit that subscribe button, much appreciated. And if you wanna be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Pretty much try to keep uh, a video up every single day and uh, a lot of times I also been putting up a short video as well and those are really short anywhere from 15 seconds to, to a minute and that's basically what a short video is and the long form are usually on a daily basis as long as I can do it uh, and have the time to get one in uh, and that's every day at nine o'clock uh, my time here on the west coast or 12 noon, or 12 noon Eastern. So once again, thank you for coming along on this ride and listening to me talk about the GoPro Hero 10 and Insta 360 X4. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.